Hello everybody and welcome to your 20th SFML platformer tutorial. So where we left off last tutorial is that um, we were left off loading in um, some of the files. Uh, so we're going to continue loading in some files. Uh, and if you don't know where we left off, then just watch uh, the end of the last tutorial. Uh, so what we got is we got our items, images, position, align. We need our axis and our animation. Uh, so we'll say axis. Uh, axis is equal to ATOI and CON dot C underscore string. And for our animation, the animation types dot pushback. Sorry, I got to move that out of my way. Push back, and uh, we will put in the the content right there. So we got uh, everything loaded in for the most part, hopefully. So now we're gonna want to have some private methods. So right now we're gonna say set animations, and we're gonna set say set positions. Okay, and uh, these are some private methods. So we'll just add them right after the destructor uh, so we'll say menu manager uh, set animations and set positions and what we're going to do is this is going to be placed after we load all the content so animations so whenever we add in uh you know what okay what we got to do now is uh we need to make another one and we'll say uh equalize menu items or whatever i don't know what else to name it uh so we'll call this right here Okay, so what do I mean by equalize uh, menu items? Uh, what I what I mean by that is this. Okay, so for example, say uh, we don't know whether the uh, the person entered in uh, just images or just items or if they entered both. Uh, we don't know if some of the menu items are images and some are just text or they some include both and some don't. We don't know how much, right? We, we can only guess that they're only going to choose one or the other or so on and so forth, right? Uh, so what we need to do is that we need to kind of equalize them to give them all the, the same value, right? Even if they have nothing uh, even if they have nothing in there or in them or whatever, we just need to make them equal, the size of them equal. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to say for uh, is equal to zero. And we're going to say menu items dot size. And we're going to say that if menu images dot size is equal to I then we add in an image so menu image uh, I don't know if they'll let us do this but let's see if that work if not then okay what we're gonna do is this Oh, should we do that push back? Sorry. And we already have an image that we created. Hmm. Okay, so let's call SF image and we'll say uh, temp image. See if this will work. Okay, so we got we got that set up or
Oh, sorry. I forgot that menu images takes in sprites, right? Uh, so what we gotta do is just we gotta uh, put in a, a temporary sprite. Uh, so instead of putting in an image in there, we just uh, put a sprite in there. Uh, so that's fine. And what we're gonna do, also sorry for all that, sorry for that confusion. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another for loop outside the other one, so it's not gonna be nested. And we're gonna go for menu images dot size. I want to say that if menu items dot size is equal to i then we'll say menu items dot push back and we'll just put in a blank item so no matter what these menu items are going to be equal so for example say uh we put in five menu items and we have no images right uh we'll still uh for it's going to scroll through this five times so the menu images dot size is going to be equal to zero because we never added anything to it so we'll add in a dummy sprite and it'll um go on so on and so forth then it will scroll through menu images, right? But since uh, this statement won't be true, could they have the same amount of um, same amount as the menu images should have, right? So therefore, they will be equal. Their size will be equalized, right? So if you want to say like equalize size of menu items or whatever, anything you need to change it to to make it clear to you, then that's what you can do, okay? So as for the setting animations, now that uh, they're equalized, now we can scroll through either the menu images or menu items because uh, their size is the same, right? Uh, so I'll say menu items dot size, and we'll just say uh, for uh, J uh, animation types dot size. and okay so what we're gonna say is that if if animation types j is equal to fade and we only have one animation type right now we only have a fade animation we'll be adding in like zoom animations and probably scroll animations and stuff but for now we only have a fade animation but we'll say that if if it's fade then temp animation dot push back new fade animation so notice before in our menu manager how we set it to of type animation since animation is a base class, we can add in any type of uh, any type of animation that derives from it. So whether it be a fade animation, whatever it has to be, then that's what we do. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna say uh, temp animation animation temp animation dot size minus one and for those of you who this confuses it's just talking about whatever the item that we just created so since the pointer we got to put the pointer symbol and we're going to say load content now for the text we just have to put menu items menu items i for the image menu images i and for the position we just got to put in the position that we load in menu and uh, there's a problem. Or uh, what I just noticed is that in our in our animations, we take in we take in we take in images, not sprites, right? And we could modify it to have an overload or load function, or we could just pass in um, uh, the the images itself. So what we can do is. We, we can pass in the images that we've loaded in from before so therefore we'd have to equalize it in here or we could just get rid of the sprites altogether but the reason why we kind of don't want to get rid of the sprites altogether is that uh, say we don't want our menu to have animation right but we still want to be able to draw the sprites then we don't want to get rid of that functionality uh, altogether now most likely uh, we're going to be adding an animation and we might even have a like another animation that's called the null animation class so uh, to not make it confusing uh, but for now so it's it really comes down to choice if you want to keep the sprites or not uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the sprites right here and I'm going to get rid of this right here and I'm going to name this menu images so that means we gotta modify our loading code 
So let's go down to our load content and uh, just gotta um, push that back right there. Uh, so uh, everything instead of this, we have to put an image. So it should be blank image or whatever. And so right here, we have to put a menu images I. And everything should be cool, okay. And then after after we uh, calculate um, the different, uh, we set all the animations. Then we got to do animation dot push back, and we got to push back the temp animation. And then we got to say call temp animation dot clear. If we don't clear it, then it's just gonna add on to what they had we had before. And I'm gonna end the tutorial here, and we'll continue where we left off in the next tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and bye.